Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about one of my huge passions, which is helping people and that motivational uh, tact and that helpful push in those really difficult times. So my friend, let me tell you this with great passion. Okay, a brighter day will follow soon. And do you know what? I say that with a very, very humble mind and almost a breath of relief because the last week or so has been leading up to something quite, quite something which, to be honest, knocked me for six. And after a couple of days now, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but for a long term thing, unfortunately, I suffer with vertigo, which really does, unfortunately, now and again, knock me about quite literally. Um, and I've been feeling it almost coming on for a little while, getting quite stressed with work. Um, and unfortunately, then uh, I went to do something a couple of days ago and then just absolutely bang, it knocked my in. It's almost sort of like the positional inside of my head with a vertigo just swings completely out of tune. Um, and then after a couple of days, uh, it slowly comes back and then I'm on medication for a little while for it to be able to calm down and then it comes back. But, you know, the moral from that kind of story for me um, is that, yes, I'm tested by this and yes, I go through this on a regular basis. However, brighter days do follow. Now, you may think, goodness me, Bradley, what a lesson to have to go through or to learn before you can actually turn around and say that. But no, do you know what? I'm very, 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 a very positive person, but I'm a person who, I am a private person, but I'm also a person who likes to share their experience and what they've been through. Um, my life has been shaped um by so many different things which have been really quite hard and really quite difficult. Now, my guiding grace and light in this life is my faith. The Lord above helps me throughout all of my difficulties, and my incredible parents and my dear uh, Nan help me through all the time through absolutely everything, and without them I don't know how I'd be able to do it. Um, but, f but for me, it really does just push me on when you try to when you try to look at what you're going through right now, and it's so so difficult in that time and in that moment to pick out that small sense of positivity that actually this storm does pass. But actually, do you know what life teaches us? I've just turned thirty years of age, and do you know what? If you were to ask me this when I was about fifteen, sixteen, when all of my hearing imbalance problems were starting, um, I was about fourteen actually. And then I couldn't probably turn around and tell you this, that the storm has passed, because by then it's, it felt, it then, sorry, it felt like a revolving storm was just coming around and I'd have a little short spell that it would be fine, then it would be back around. But looking back on it, these times do pass and they do, yes, absolutely test us. They teach us a lot of resilience and they teach us a lot, a lot about ourselves. They help us to find coping mechanisms and they help us, to, they help us, um, with a lot of strength and a lot of mental strength as well. And you get that. It teaches us to think that actually there's not much in this life that we can't come back from and that there is everything in this life that we can, we can add a bit of positivity to and we can make and we can help and we can change. Now, of course, there are some situations in this life where sadly we, we can't. We absolutely can't. And I'm not going to make that a thing that we can because unfortunately we do live in a fallen world. And sadly, unfortunately, people choose to add to a fallen world. But I'm talking about you and me right here now. If you're going through something difficult, have faith that actually you will get through this because storms do pass and a brighter day will follow soon. And even though it may not happen tomorrow or the day after, it will happen and things get better, things get brighter. I think the minute we we fall into that hole in that sort of darkness for our mental health, just think that actually, do you know what, this is never going to improve, this is never ever going to get better. Let me speak from the heart here that there are there have been times in my life where I have been very, very bleak. And for example, my life was my nan, who is my absolute world, and she's my mum's mum, and I'm very, very close to my mum, and I've been privileged in this life for the Lord to have blessed me with such bonds. There were there was many times in my life that I would watch this incredible person, my dear Nan battling her Alzheimer's and I stood with her with my mum throughout her whole journey 
and I watched this incredible lady have battles and have struggles, but do you know what? Never once did she ever give up. Never once did she look at this situation she was in and just completely give up. Never ever once. She taught me four incredible things, which, do you know what? Strangely enough, my nan, not strange enough, but she taught me so much in my life. But I realised this on the last time I seen her in the Chapel of Rest, for now. And bearing in mind, when I when I left my nan, I said to my nan, holding her hands and in prayer, that actually this, this isn't forever. This isn't goodbye. This is just that we can't hold hands for a short while. And let me share this with you, that even staring into the face of her illness all the time, we had laughs. We had bright times. We had laughter. We experienced new things. We had fun times. We had beautiful, cherished, special memories. And that's really magical to hold on to. And you know what? Straight away, even in the most difficult times, even though that when my nan's uh, dementia was getting worse and her abilities were worsening, she still smiled. She still smiled and she taught me four things. Number one, to never, ever, ever stop, to continue, to continue going no matter what. Number two, to always work hard. Number three, always look your best. Number four, Above all, family is absolutely everything. And those four things stick with me all the time. And some people may think they're actually they're very, very simple, but do you know what they're not? And if this fallen world was to grasp those four notions, wouldn't it be much more of a special, beautiful world what we live in? So my friends, my subscribers, and anybody watching this, brighter days will follow. And if you're in a situation right now where you think you're talking absolutely rubbish, Bradley, I'm never ever going to get through this, you will. If you're in a relationship and you're thinking, I'm, I can't do this anymore, I can't get through this. Or if you're in a financial situation thinking, I'm not going to get it through to the end of the week, let alone get through this. Or if you're losing somebody right now and your heart's breaking and your loved one is on their way to be with the Lord, to go back home with Jesus up above. And you're sat here thinking to me, I'm never ever going to get through this. My friend, I don't need to know you to know that I know that you're going to get through this. My heart breaks for you, but you get through this. You get through this and you find strength because there is only one of you. And I could say this so confidently. There is only one of you. You are too incredible. You are so special. You are so gifted. You will get through this. You are stronger than you think. You're far more clever than what you think. You have got this together so much more than you think. Right now, yes, you may shed a tear. Right now, you may be falling to pieces. But when anything falls, there is a ground of which we hit. And when we hit that ground, whether it be anger, fear, being upset, it could even be a mix of many happy emotions too. You start to rebuild. And bit by bit, you get there. And there is light, my friend, in the darkest of times. And you get through this. And what do you know? Brighter days follow. There is only one of you. Nobody else knows how you feel. Nobody else feels how you feel because there is only you. Now, you may think, how, how do I know this, though? You don't know me. How do I know this? I don't need to know you to know that you're going to get through this because I have been through all of those things. Apart from relationship, personally, however... I've seen family members, brothers, go through those relationship struggles. Death. I lost my nan, my world, in a very, very horrific way. Okay, I thought my life at that moment was going to be over. I lost my hearing as a very, very young child with lots of health problems, which has plagued me for a lot of my adult life, with vertigo, even just this week. I've lost treasured, tre a treasured auntie, a treasured uncle. I've seen my mum this year go through major, major surgery, which every single moment of her going through it broke me and literally would make me struggle to pause for breath at times or even find breath or even find the right words to say each time I looked at my dad about how we were going to get through this difficult situation. But do you know what? You do. These storms pass. Throughout my storms, as I say, the Lord blessed me with truly, truly incredible parents, my mum, my dad, and on that parent table, my dear Nan as well. 
So they are my guiding grace. They are my strength, my stability, and they get me through. And over that, the Lord, that over that overarching glory, that light, it gets me through. And you know what? Yes, I make mistakes and I'm not perfect. I don't proclaim to be. But you know, what? that's not what this is about. In storms, it's not because someone has to be perfect for this day to pass and for them to find goodness again. Not at all, not in the slightest. It's about that ethic of learning and learning from what we've done. And if you cause this storm, and that's a different board game, I understand. But if you learn and if you build and if you put things right, and even if those people might not want to know right now, if you show that you're trying, this storm will pass on its own. And in the end, brighter days will follow. So whatever aspect this is, we're coming round to that common ground here, that we get through this, these storms pass, and with that, a brighter day will soon follow. Okay, so I realise and appreciate that's really quite heavy. And I was getting ready this morning and I thought to myself, do you know what, we're going to talk about this on my channel today. Yesterday, if you would have seen me, there was no smart slicked back hair. There was no all nice clothes and all sort of all, all done up in, in knowing exactly what to say. It was as my twin brother actually, I won't tell you what he called me, as he's seen me um, in such, let's be honest, a very, very vulnerable and well state through very, very severe vertigo. Um, and I've still got a little bit of it there, but do you know what? I'm finding the strength. I'm getting there, I'm on medication, and this storm is going to pass. And yeah, I'd like it to pass a little bit more quicker, but it's passing. And that's the thing. A lot of us don't have control in this life of when that storm passes, but it doesn't mean to say it's not going to pass. It will pass. Oh, absolutely, it will pass. Just sit tight, restock, have faith. And if you're not of faith, have faith in yourself, because you've got this. You've got this because, remember, you're far too damn important not to have got this. And you will, and you'll move forward, and you'll take another breath, and you'll take another step, and you'll take another, and you'll take another moment where you'll think, mm, "Am I getting there?" Yeah, you will get there, and you'll have another smile, and then you'll laugh and you'll joke. And sometimes, even the most saddest of situations, there is light, my friend, and it grows us, and it teaches us just how damn special this life is, and just how special our family and those who we love are. But you get there. Do you know what? As you grow a little bit older, people say, oh, I want to be 18 forever, I want to be 21 forever. Do you know what? No. Those are fantastic years, but treasure them and cherish them when you have them. Because it's incredible when you grow up a little bit more as well, and then you turn to 25 and then you hit 30, because you realise that actually there's not much in this life that we can't rectify or we can't put right. With hard work, with faith, with love, with taking care of, supporting one another, all of those great things. You're going to get there. I am. You are. I hope that's helped. God bless. Take great care. And if you want to ask me any questions at all, please feel free to do so. And I'll get my I will get back as quickly as possible to you. Um, and yeah, that's from my heart to yours. Take great, great care. God bless you. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Thank you very much for joining me. That really does mean the world that you have done so. And as I say, if you want to ask me anything at all, please leave your comments down below. And I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks very much. Until next time, take great care of yourself and remember, brighter days will follow. If you find yourself in a bit of a festering hole right now and you click this, there we go. You've answered it. You're going to get there because you care enough and you've already started to find your feet because you've clicked this, you've found this clip. You're going to get there, my friend. God bless. Bye for now.